live from RSNA. I am Magriet Nijnens and I want to welcome you to the Diagnostic Imaging webinar. In this webinar you will learn all about what's new at Philips Diagnostic Imaging this year. And our product management team will share with you short pitches so you will quickly catch up on what's all new for Philips in 2023. Hey Gwen, what a fantastic RSNA. Lots of great innovations and excitement. For those who can't join us here at Chicago, why don't we have a quick tour on what Philips MR has to offer this year? Absolutely, Sally. Good morning. Uh, it's been an exciting RSNA and uh, let's get started. Sure. So we're seeing this beautiful 7700 and uh, sitting in the center of our booth. Can you share more, Sally, on what this system can offer to our customers? Absolutely, Gwen. MR7700 is our flagship 3T system that delivers unmatched performance and precision. It can achieve high diffusion imaging quality with 35% higher SNR, thanks to the short echo time delivered by its gradient strength. And let me show you an example from an Australian customer where you can clearly see the optic nerve from this high quality diffusion imaging. And that's where MR7700 really excels, especially for neural and oncology advanced imaging. And in addition to diffusion, it can reach 65% higher spatial resolution with AI in power smart speed. So fantastic, Sally. And we know how image quality and diagnostic outcomes are very important for, uh, for customers. Um, what else? can this system solution provide? Well, definitely, MR7700 is not just about what you see here. It has a seamless workflow integration with six multi-nuclei, all the way from imaging acquisition, spectroscopy, to reconstruction, and to viewing. It means clinicians and researchers can now incorporate multi-nuclei into their day-to-day -day clinical workflow while obtaining a metabolic and functional information to better decide the treatment path for their patients. So it's six nuclei in total. In addition to proton, we have integrated carbon, sodium, phosphorus, fluorine, and xenon. So as you can imagine, with seamless multinuclear integration, we open up many possibilities as multinuclear applications can be used across all anatomies. Thank you, Sally. Fantastic uh, solutions for diagnostic outcomes. And we have more on the, on the show uh, this year. For sure. Let me now take you to our new SmartFit coil part. So now, I'm super excited to launch our Fit for Purpose SmartFit coils to the MR5300 solution. As you can see, it is designed for patient-centric workflow as it is very thin and ultra lightweight. You can just feel how light it is. It's only 1.2 kilogram. Great, Sally. Can I take it? Of course. Well? So we see as well that it's very flexible, left, right, like this, or uh, fit heads. So you can address challenging anatomies as well because you can wrap it around the anatomy, right? Yeah, indeed. So as you can imagine, you can also cover a really wide a range of patients from adult to pediatric patients. And with the improved coverage of this, uh, this torso cardiac coil as well, and optimization of the smart speed AI solution, it gives our clinicians high confidence in making the right diagnosis. Excellent. So I guess thanks to the lightweight, the flexibility, the fit to the anatomy, we can improve productivity for our customers. Definitely. And I think a great example, so let me pick this up as well, uh, is our smart fit shoulder coil. It delivers high productivity by reducing patient setup time by 10%. And it delivers faster scanning with smart speed again. Excellent. We're gonna go into smart speed a bit more, right? Yes. Now. So let's go over there to take a look. So Gwen, I've heard that smart speed AI is an award-winning technology. So how does it bring value to clinical practice? Great question, Sally. Indeed. So, Smart Speed is our deep learning AI based recon technology for speed and image quality. Let's have a quick look here. You see the normal scan without AI, and you see Smart Speed here. 
so spectacular improvement in speed and image quality. And speed and IQ is one of the top needs of our customers. We hear a lot at RSNA again this year that it's all about being able to manage increased amount of patients while delivering the best care for these patients. So this is what Smart Speed will do. We are showing a lot of cases where we are bringing down the scan time to you know, just three minutes sequence time for brain and MSK, for instance. Uh, but there is more because, especially on the 7700 system, we are showing increased image quality with 3D scans, for instance, in below three minutes and isotropic resolution, one millimeter or below as well, for flare, for T1, for time of life, for SWI, because this is the strength of smart speed that is applicable to so many sequences in practice. That's fantastic to hear. So besides smart speed, Gwen, I've learned that there are many more clinical innovations we're bringing this year. Can you show us more? Yes, there is more. So Gwen, now we're standing in front of the clinical council. Can you tell us more? Yes, absolutely. So there is a lot going on in neuroimaging. We are talking about two new fast AI-based quantitative uh, techniques. And the reason for doing this is that there is a lot of developments in the drug industry supporting you know, neuro diseases and imaging will play uh, an important role. And quantitative assessment become more and more important for follow-up studies. So this is where quantification comes and not slow and complex, but AI-based automated for fast outcomes. And the first solution that we are introducing is through Philips AI Manager, which is a platform offered on our packs. So it's a cloud-based platform where we are hosting AI-based applications. And the first one is with our partners from Icometrics, where we can now offer not only very fast imaging with smart speed, but also fast, automated, quantitative reading. And that will be key for patients like uh, multiple sclerosis patients or Alzheimer patients. So very hot topic, especially in Alzheimer with the new drugs coming to market. And we are ready with the imaging and reading solution to support our customers. This is really impressive, Gwen. Really happy to hear that AMR can bring tangible value for Alzheimer patients. So what else do we bring this year to advance neuroimaging? Yeah, so that's not all. We are also bringing fast quantitative uh, biomarkers to, uh, to MR, and we are introducing SmartQuant 3D. And this is unique in the industry. It is coming from a partnership with uh, Synthetic MR, who is known for bringing in a single scan, synthetic contrast and quantitative maps. So again, it's gonna be the world's first AI enhanced 3D quantitative imaging through again smart speed, which is compatible with the synthetic MR technique. So with SmartQuant 3D, we are talking about a full brain 3D coverage of about one millimeter isotropic, so very high resolution, in just about three minute scan time. So again, very concretely, it is fast, it is quantitative, and it will support uh, follow-up studies with these T1 maps, T2 maps, PD maps, gray matter, white matter, but also myelin maps for all uh, these studies. So we really believe that uh, this AI-based fast quantification is changing the game in neurology and is, will offer new standards in doing neurodiagnostics. Well, in only three minutes, definitely a game changer. So Gwen, I have heard from many customers that they are interested to do more cardiac MR, but it comes with many challenges and complexity. Can you tell me a bit more on how we address these issues with our latest cardiovascular innovations? Absolutely. So we have three, again, key you know, new innovations at this RSNA this year. Uh, but first of all, it's very important to realize how important cardiovascular uh, space is for MR. It is a growing space. More and more customers want to do cardiac MR. Mm -hmm. And this is driven by cardiologists themselves requesting uh, to an MR uh, more and more in, in, the, in the current days. So the challenge in cardiovascular MR is to make it fast, robust, 
and easy to use. And that is exactly what we are addressing. First of all, we are introducing easy scan plan. This is a planning technique for technologies that will reduce the time needed to plan and make it a lot easier. Why? Because we are going to rely only on one scan, one 3D scan to do the entire planning rather than having these five, six or seven scans. So a big win in uh, complexity and in reducing the time for planning. There is a second innovation that is going to make imaging robust also for patients with cardiac implants. And that's a big deal because these patients are in need of an MR and most of the time due to their implants, the imaging is not robust and non-diagnostic. Well, we've made sequence changes. We are introducing a new technique that is um, changing the game and making these images diagnostics also in case of uh, the presence of implants. So that's the second one. Now the third one is what you see in the background. It is a technique that uh, is uh, doing angiography without the need for contrast. And that's a big deal in the pediatric field, for instance, but also for many patients that cannot get contrast. And in the past, it was not robust. It was difficult to plan. We are making that very easy now. Just one big 3D slab to be positioned in an easy way. It is free breathing, so no need to worry about artifacts. Uh, it is fast, um, applicable with smart speed. It is a big win. And you can see in the back a lot of details, a lot of signal, a lot of uh, you know, uh, information on arteries and on veins. The technique is called AV trans, arterial venous trans. So three key innovations that are going to move the field of cardiovascular MR towards faster, more robust and easier imaging. That's impressive. I think these three new innovations definitely make cardiovascular MR more accessible. And it's really great that we can showcase here at RSNA. Yes, and we have uh, the privilege to have Professor Dillman from Cincinnati Children, who has been a great uh, user of AV Trans, also great ambassador of AV Trans because he really believes in, uh, in this. And I have a couple of questions for Professor Dillman. First of all, why Professor Dillman, is arteriovenous trans so important for your patients? So AV trans is a very interesting sequence. We've been using it in the clinic and or in the research setting for over five years now. And it truly gives us very reliable vascular assessments of both the arterial system and the venous system. And importantly, not only is it fast, not only is it robust, but it also does not require intravenous contrast material. It's also worth noting the image quality is excellent with excellent spatial resolution, excellent contrast resolution, and the ability to cre create both 2D reformations and 3D reconstructions. So thank you, Dr. Dillman. Second question, if I may, what are the benefits of AV trends that are especially more impactful for your diagnosis? So the AV trans sequence has several benefits. First, the lack of intravenous contrast material um, is very important to me. If we can get away without giving contrast, that is a good thing. But the image quality is also spectacular. When we're doing anatomic assessments of either the arteries or the veins, and this includes in the neck, the chest, abdomen and pelvis, as well as the extremities, I can almost always get the diagnosis off the AV trans sequence. It allows us to see congenital anomalies, areas of vessel narrowing or dilation, or even vessel occlusion. We commonly use this sequence in the chest, abdomen, and pelvis for um, vascular mapping, for example, in the setting of an upcoming surgery or the need to place a vascular catheter. Thank you. So third question here is we see vein and arteries on this type of uh, technique. So how does that impact the diagnosis for your patients? So seeing the arteries and veins at the same time is not a problem at all. The image quality of the AV trans sequence is such that because the spatial resolution is high, because the images are thin section, because I can create 3D, re 3D reconstructions and 2D reformations, it's very easy to separate the arteries and veins. And sometimes it's actually a benefit to have them on the same sequence, on the same images. For example, seeing how these vessels relate to one another. The other thing is traditionally, when we get arterial imaging or venous imaging, this requires 
multiple acquisitions, different sequences or the same sequence with, for example, different breath holds. So I have two data sets to review. Here I have a single data set to review, which in some ways is also a benefit. So the last question for you, uh, Dr. Dillman, uh, what are the benefits of AV trends compared to the traditional way of doing vascular imaging? So traditionally we've used contrast to get at the anatomy of the vasculature. Uh, this is most often an MRA or MRV type sequence. And unfortunately these sequences in our experience aren't particularly robust. They commonly have artifacts and often patients have challenges with breath holding. For example, a typical MRA, MRV sequence at our institution requires a 15 to 20 second breath hold. With the AV trans sequence, the patient can free breathe. Now we commonly use some form of respiratory compensation, typically respiratory triggering, which makes the images even sharper, gives us even better image quality. But in general, when doing anatomic assessments, the AV trans is as good or even better than the contrast. And we've actually recently published in the American Journal of Reconology an article showing this in the pediatric population. Thank you, Dr. Dillman. Really appreciate uh, your explanation and putting in perspective the value of AV trans for the patients, but also for the healthcare professionals. Fantastic one. Hey, Sally. Uh, I have heard that this year we are making the record for the world's first Blue Seal Mobile. Can you share more about this? Definitely. It is not only an MR in a truck. It is the world's first mobile MR with helium-free operations. It brings access to high clinical quality and sustainable care to our patients everywhere. Okay, excellent. We want to learn more, Sally. Absolutely. It's based on our Blue Seal technology, which has only 7 liters of helium versus a conventional MR, which requires 1,500 liters of helium. So again, from 1,500 to 7 liters. And in addition to that, it is fully sealed. So no helium refill is needed for its lifetime. With the fact that helium is a scarce resource and the price of helium has almost doubled in the last few years, our Blue Seal technology really helps to reduce helium dependency a helium will eventually run out one day. Yeah, so it sounds really a fantastic solution, Sally. Um, can you share a bit more on the benefits? Sure. And actually, the benefits are so much more than just having helium-free operations from our Blue Seal Mobile, as it does not require a quench pipe. It means the Blue Seal Mobile can be sighted anywhere, even near the entrance of a hospital. In addition to that, with less liquid helium inside, it's almost 900 kilograms lighter than the conventional magnet. Wow, wow, so I can just imagine how a lighter truck probably consumes less fuel. Yeah, no, that's a really good guess. And for Blue Seal Mobile, we really took a holistic approach to ensure the challenge of high patient volume that many of our customers are facing is addressed as well. For example, with Smart Speed, it can deliver up to three times faster scanning without compromising on image quality. And together with our smart workflow solution, patient setup time can now be achieved in less than one minute as well. And in the end, let's not forget the fee-for-purpose smart fit coil that we just introduced earlier also bring workflow benefit for MR5300 Blue Seal Mobile. Okay, great. So uh, clear benefits on workflow, on productivity. What about image quality? It is a great question. Uh, in this case, our Blue Seal Mobile can work with any of our fully sealed 1.5 Tesla MR systems and are compatible with Smart Speed AI and other advanced clinical applications we have, which means we continue to deliver high clinical confidence everywhere this Blue Seal Mobile goes. Very good. So maybe uh, a final question, okay. Sally. Uh, in a truck setting like this, how would staff and patient experience look like? Yeah, that's a very good question because I think when people think about uh, MR in the truck, you probably think it's a bit gray and it's cold. Well, we have thought through that. So for Blue Seal Mobile, our goal is to improve patient outcome in a holistic manner. Therefore, through the remote operating command center solutions we have, the radiographer on board can receive advice or obtain a second opinion easily which really helps when there is a shortage of experienced staff. And for the patient, we have brought our unique ambient experience from hospital into the mobile setting, 
to enable a calming patient-friendly environment which can lead to better patient compliance. It's uh, amazing, Sally. I think uh, this year, Philips at this RSNA is showing how we improve diagnostic outcomes, how we optimize workflow, and how we maximize the value over the lifetime for customers. Any, any addition to close? No, absolutely. Our goal is not just to bring new solutions, but really focus on patient-centric, impactful in innovations that improve people's lives everywhere. Thank you, Sally. Thank you all for listening. And we are now going to pass over to our city colleagues. Hello, and welcome to the CT booth at RSNA. My name is Robert Fleck, and I uh, and in product management uh, for the business unit in CT. And, and here uh, at RSNA, we've been talking about Incisive CT. And uh, I wanted to, to walk you through what has uh, caught people's attention here at RSNA. And one of the first things is the, the workflow at the gantry that allows the technologist to remain directly by the patient's side while still doing really the entirety of their workflow here uh, so that they stay in contact with the patient that can be anxious but they actually also uh, speed the time to results, uh, results and simplify their workflow. So like I said, right at the patient side, you can, uh, you can connect to the HIS-RIS and select the patient that's on the table. You'll get the demographic information here uh, to confirm that the, you have the right patient, select OK, and then you have all of your exam cards that are either pre-built or come uh, as reference protocols. And once you select the protocol that you want, you'll notice that the positioning camera, uh, precise position, automatically uh, detects the uh, patient orientation. And then once you click start exam, from here all you have to do is click the smart load button that will uh, automatically position the patient at ISO Center as well as at the beginning of, uh, of where the survey should start. So that workflow has been really well received. You can see how simple and intuitive, intuitive it is. And in an era at the moment where you're uh, dealing oftentimes with staff shortages or sometimes less trained staff, traveling staff, this makes for a really easy, simple workflow. In addition to the really simple and intuitive workflow that we just saw, the other thing that has uh, been catching people's attention is the exceptional image quality that you're able to get, but at really, really low doses with Precise Image, our AI-based reconstruction technique. And Precise Image allows you to simultaneously uh, reduce dose by 80%, uh, Im improve low contrast detectability by 60%, while also reducing noise by 85%. So you're getting uh, these benefits of reduction in dose while improving image quality simultaneously. So uh, we see that in, in, a, in a lot of cases, but one really compelling example is here where we have uh, a low dose uh, chest CT for lung cancer screening. And uh, of course, as you know, here in, in, in the US, the ACR guidelines dictate that for lung cancer screening to be reimbursable, it has to be set uh, at three milligray CTDI vol or less. With this case you're seeing with precise image and everything that I just mentioned, you're actually able to get this scan, this image quality at a quarter of that ACR guideline dose. And uh, while that would normally bring uh, additional noise associated with lower dose, here you're able to see really clearly uh, a four millimeter, smaller four, four millimeter nodule in the upper left lobe. Uh, that with the extra noise could be difficult to, to see or at least get your measurements on. Um, and I find this especially compelling because in lung cancer screening cases, uh, you, you, you know you have an asymptomatic patient, right? That depending on the findings could have additional downstream, sometimes lots of downstream imaging. And, and so you really want to start with your lowest dose possible in these cases. So Precise Image does a great job of 
of getting you that image quality that allows you to make your diagnosis that you need but while, while uh, preserving, uh, uh, reducing the dose to make sure that you're getting uh, excellent patient. One thing I'm really, really proud about as uh, the product manager for Incisive CT is the increased access to care that Incisive has been able to provide. Uh, one of the key pillars of that is that you have exceptional quality and reliability to go places that would really stress the CT system. So behind me you'll see a video where we have put Incisive in mobile trailers to provide increased access to lung cancer screening uh, uh, services. Uh, we've, we've placed it in Mercy ships to provide access to care in Western Africa and also we've partnered with Heart of Australia to provide uh, lung screening for former coal miners. Uh, that, that otherwise wouldn't be, uh, be able to, uh, to get to the nearest major city and, and get that screening done. The Heart of Australia case is particularly interesting because there you have uh, extreme heat, you have dusty conditions, you have uh, rough roads that create a lot of vibration for the system, but what we see is Incisive CT is working flawlessly in this case, uh, proving its reliability but most importantly, providing uh, exceptional quality of care to people that otherwise wouldn't be able to achieve it. It's exciting to be here at RSNA in Chicago and meet with customers again and talk about the challenges in radiology and how our solutions are empowering clinicians to expand the standard of care in diagnostics, therapy and screening with easy to experience meaningful innovation. In clinical practice today, increasing workloads coupled with greater system complexities can hinder the delivery of high quality care. Philips has been a pioneer in the spectral CT solutions for more than a decade with unique propositions based on spectral detector technology. Spectral CT is the latest innovation introduced to the market, enabling spectral CT for every patient and every scan and addressing the main challenges in radiology today by enhancing the diagnostic confidence and reducing time to diagnosis and reducing cost to care. To demonstrate how spectral improves the diagnosis confidence, here we see an image with a suspicious lesion uh, in the stomach and on the left image it's difficult to visualize the lesion or is it a lesion or just a debris? But as spectral images are available with every exam and for every patient, the physician can review the iodine density and conventional layout, which demonstrates enhancements and also confirms by the VNC image on the right. Spectral improves the visualization and leading to higher confidence in diagnosis. One of the biggest studies uh, that we've done with spectral CT, which included more than 500 patients, demonstrating the benefits of spectral CT and radiology. Uh, this was performed at Aarhus University in Denmark. The staff looked at the impact of the utility of spectral CT information in the occult cancer pathway. And uh, Aarhus University Medical Center reported an increase in certainty of exclusion for benign findings from 30% to 96% which is translated to reduction of needed follow-up scans by 34% and based on their financial models translated to 52k uh, uh, annual savings. Great example of how spectral improves diagnosis confidence while reducing cost to care. Spectral CT7500 is designed bottom-up to address the most challenging clinical needs uh, from oncology, interventional CT, emergency, trauma, even cardiovascular. All this with low dose, high image quality and spectral without changing the workflow. The system is equipped with a very fast couch, fast rotation speed and 8 cm spectral detector to address any cardiac exam. The AI and the smart algorithms combined with the ease to use uh, iPatient platform and spectral always on workflow makes it easy to use and easy to train new users as well. In addition, the wide bore uh, powerful tube and the new uh, table is designed for bariatric patients up to 307 kilograms with excellent image quality for both conventional and spectral. In addition, 100 kVp imaging enables reduced radiation dose, especially important for pediatrics and small patients. Another great example of how spectral improves the visualization here in cardiovascular 
In this case, we have a patient with a stent, and based on the conventional CT, it is challenging to visualize the instantary stenosis, mainly due to the metal artifacts and the blooming. This is something that photon counting is promoting, and here we can demonstrate that with 7,500 today. Um, the iodine no water uh, spectral results offer the ability to decrease the artifact from the stents and visualize this stenosis and quantify it with spectral. Another great example is head and neck case. Um, and in this area, uh, there's a particular challenge of visualization for diagnosis and even delineation for treatment planning. This case demonstrated humor in the patient's mouth that is extremely difficult to visualize on the conventional image. Uh, in the various uh, spectral results, this tumor is uh, specially, and it's specially, its borders are clearly uh, visualized. Another area of interest, uh, this is a hematoma uh, example with where spectral helps with the differentiation between calcium and blood. Uh, the high mono E spectral result decreases the beam hardening on the inner area of the skull and the low mono E uh, spectral results improves the gray white, uh, white differentiation and the contrast enhanced structure removes the skull. Uh, this is a trauma case where patient is involved in an accident and challenging to identify the bone marrow edema in a small bony structures in the wrist as we see in the calcium suppressed image as well as on the VNC. All of this is enabled by the superior workflow and design of Spectral CT7500 which is based on a spectral detector technology where the energy separation is done at the detector level. Compared to other dual energy solutions in the market, if it's a dual source or KV switching, Dual energy is a mode of operation and needs to be selected per patient. While with spectral detector technology, spectral is always available for every patient with every exam without compromising the workflow or image quality or system performance. And with 10 different spectral results addressing any clinical question for any uh, clinical use case. In our design choices, we made sure we are addressing the workflow end to end. So in addition to the always on scanning, we have a unique proposition that brings spectral to the packs for radiologists, enabling them to improve the diagnosis confidence by just a mouse click. With spectral magic glass on packs, we send the spectral images you want to where you need to read. If you need additional spectral results, they are available from packs with just one click. To summarize, Spectral provides uh, certainty by reducing follow-up scans by 26%, increasing diagnostic confidence by 23%, provides simplicity um, for patients and staff experience through ultra-fast imaging and overall time to diagnosis decrease by 34%, and Spectral CT provides reliability by reducing overall cost of care with predictive annual cost savings by accommodation, all patient population for any clinical question. To help clinicians improve outcomes, our Spectral CT7500 is clinically proven and delivers confidence without compromise. And expanding the benefits of Spectral CT detector for patients across all clinical indications, including cardiology, trauma, bariatric, pediatric, interventional, and even radiation oncology, with more than 600 peer-reviewed uh, publications, customers worldwide have been able to reduce the number of follow-up scans due to incomplete diagnosis. So thank you very much and see you uh, next RSNA. Hello everyone, I'm Sechil Lafchu from CT uh, product management team and today I will be telling you more about the new technology that we are introducing RSNA this year. Uh, so, when we speak with clinical teams across the globe, we often hear about the challenges that they are having around the staffing shortages, high staff turnover, and as a result, it's difficult to maintain the knowledge within the team. So, this is exactly why we built virtual imaging. Let's look at the details now. Virtual imaging has two main components. 
CT Collaboration Live and Lifecycle Learning. CT Collaboration Live is a software integrated into the CT console, which enables the CT user to uh, communicate remotely with the other colleagues without uh, needing to leave the CT console. Lifecycle Learning is a regular uh, training package from Philips side with readily available content and also scheduled instructor-led sessions. CT Collaboration Live looks like this on the screen, uh, on the uh, CT console screen. So um, it's similar to other communication tools that we use today. Um, so you have the chat uh, box here, uh, you have the video call option, and then you can see your contacts. With this tool, you can do peer-to-peer -peer consultation between uh, different clinical users. You can do system level remote sharing and remote access. Uh, you can get, uh, you can connect your experts with the rest of the team and you can get access to the live image feed. So now let's see how it works in real life. So um, as you can see, uh, the user interface of the CT console is the same. We only have one edition icon at the bottom of the screen where you can click and start to chat and also uh, video call with your uh, colleague. So the functionalities are chat, call, video call, screen share and remote control. So here uh, the remote, uh, remote user started the call and then we will just see an example of how they will change the exam cards and then save a new exam card remotely. So today when there is a need to change an exam card, uh, we know that uh, the chief technologist, radiologist, they need to go to the console, make the changes and save it. Here it's very easy, they started the call and the uh, uh, console user is already telling the remote user what he she or she needs and then they are starting the call and they just connected uh, the camera, uh, they started the screen share, this is the notice that they get uh, for the privacy and um, the way we build this tool is that um, we are currently in the 510k application uh, for this so uh, it's uh, 510k pending as of today and um, with the medical device designation of course we build this uh, for uh, according to the healthcare privacy and safety standards so this is why while you're sh uh, sharing your screen the patient information anonymized so the remote user cannot see the patient name or other information in addition to that remote user cannot uh, move the couch or start the radiation exposure for safety reasons and when the uh, support is uh, provided you can just close out the call yeah so this is how CT collaboration life uh, works in real life so now we will uh, look into details of life cycle learning so there are two main components of life cycle learning uh, it provides regular remote clinical support over the lifetime of the scanner in addition to the um, readily available content in the e-learning portal. And this is how it works in real life. So uh, you will have the Philips Clinical Application Specialist on one side of the um, uh, communication and then um, you can have your clinical team uh, receiving the training so they will er agree on a time uh, and topic and then uh, they will have the video call and then um, this uh, the topic of the interest from the clinical team can be covered at the time uh, of the um, uh, preference of the clinical team um, so um, this is uh, pretty useful uh, when um, let's say uh, you have been um, you got a new scanner uh, you used it for a couple of years and now you want to start a new program and you want to learn about more more uh, about the uh, clinical application um, on the CT scanner available to you. Let's say you want to learn more about cardiac program. So uh, this is why, like this is how you can schedule the session with our clinical application specialist and get more information about how to use this application on the Philips CT. Um, so uh, let's also go into the details of uh, what lifecycle learning includes. So it is uh, four times per year, uh, three hour sessions with our Philips Clinical Application Specialist in addition to all these topics covered uh, in the e-learning portal. And of course we are expanding the topics and we will have uh, more content uh, as we go. Thank you very much.
Thanks for tuning in to Philips DXR, and we're very happy to have you here at the booth in Chicago. And we have very many exciting things to tell you. We have two new products that we are adding to our portfolio. So let's make haste because we have a lot of ground to cover here. So let's start with the Radiography 7300C, which is the successor of our digital diagnostic 90 system. Uh, that means it brings also with it all the goodies and the advantages that that system has with it. So first of all, image quality, it has that Philips proven image chain and the very much appreciated unique to post-processing. We don't have the time right now to go into the booth, look at the images, but please check them out online because they are phenomenal. Two, room configurations. We have a very versatile system. That means we have uh, different tables, we have different wall stands. We have a vertical movable wall stand, which means that we can have uh, different configurations available to you. Whether you go for high clinical versatility or whether you go for high throughput, whether you go for uh, an uh, emergency room or whether you only have a very small space, we can always have something to fit your needs and your space. Number three, we're already at number three talk about sustainability, talking about total cost of ownership. Our systems are well known for uh, longevity, that they stay alive and active for a very long period of time. But like its predecessor, the Radiography 7300NC also has very powerful energy savings up to 39%. But what we're all here for together and what all the new features are about is our smart workflow. So for workflow, I turn to you, Taras. You're a radiographer. Give your views on the Radiography 7300C. Yes, thank you, Yes. Let's have a look at the new system now. So what's unique about this system is that it's all about bringing patient and staff experience together right here at the Eleva Tupac in the room. And it all starts with welcoming our patient to the room. So this is not any room, this is the patient's actual room. The patients recognize this, they respond very well to this, they feel welcome, but at the same time, for me, this is the exact moment I want to make sure, is this the right person to give my radiation dose to? So once I acknowledge this, <coughs> the screen comes up and the screen holds our 2D camera. Our 2D camera is used, of course, for positioning in the room, because it allows me to see both this angle and the back without even moving over the patient to see it. So it releases me of a lot of bodily stress, but also improves my workflow. And the nice thing about the camera, that the camera is also available in the control room. So as I'm walking back, I can have my last check of my patient position, which is very useful for unstable patients, and I can even see the camera image up until the moment I take the exposure, which is very useful working with children because children need to be supported. Uh, and it's very critical to get the right positioning at the right moment and take the x-ray at that exact moment. So having the view of the camera available in the control room allows you to do, do just this. And there's even more features. For example, working with new colleagues, introducing the colleague the first few days you need to be on top of them, right? And after a few days, they start to get the hang of it. That this system allows you as the teacher, trainer, to step back a bit, observe everything safely from the control room while giving the student or a new colleague the safe space here and also improving the patient experience because the patient is not experiencing the teaching situation at all like this. And then there's a lot more features in here. So this whole screen, the Eleva TubePad screen, is designed to be a real touchscreen interface. That means it will work like any tablet it is. Everything is available right here where you want it, and everything supports you in your workflow. So for example, our patient information comes up here, but if we take an x-ray, it closes for privacy reasons. Talking about taking x-rays, the whole system is also designed not to spend too much time in the control room. So as I walk back to the control room, I can check my view on the live camera image 
and now if I take an exposure, which you could for me, I'm not waiting in the control room, I'm already at the screen, looking at the picture, at the same time I'm close to my patient, in contact with them, they never feel alone for too long, and we can keep on working in the examination with me and the patient in the room, instead of me in the room, in the control room, and the patient lying here alone. <coughs> And then there's a lot of features here, which we won't go into too much detail, but remember everything you want to do, except the exposure button, of course, is here in the room. So one of the exciting features the new system will bring to you is the AI enabled smart collimation thorax, which allows me to speed up my chest exams by up to 35 seconds for each exam which is a huge time saving if you consider that most hospitals have about 50 to 60 percent of chest exams in their workload mix and let me show you just how easy it is so i've got my patient already in front of the wall stand i just press once on the screen and the system automatically finds the correct height for me and then as it's done i can also tell the system to collimate for me so i'm already done with my x-ray so this saves me so much time. I can take the x-ray, come back in, and we can also do the same thing for the lateral views. The system recognizes the shape of the patient and finds the lungs in it. So we've taught it on thousands of patients to recognize from the outside where the lungs would be. It finds them automatically and fast and accurate. And the beauty of this feature is that you can activate it not just from the Elova tube head, but also from your remote control or from the control room. But actually my preference would be to do it here from the wall stand itself. Because Taras, can you pretend to be a, an, an older man? I want to be here with my patient. And now being here with my patient, I can have the height alignment done. I can set my collimation. Okay. Open up, do your collimation, and I can immediately go out and make my exam. And then, utilizing the 3D camera, we can do something else, a neat trick. So if you look at the table now, it's impossible to know where exactly the AC chambers are. So we can visualize them on the camera image, which allows for me to select them or deselect them, and it also allows for me to have perfect positioning on my patient where I'm completely sure that the AC chamber is actually covering the anatomy I want to and it's not overexposed or underexposed. Well, my favorite part about the AC overlays is that you can actually use them while the tube is angled. So if I switch them on now, I can already see them where they are relative to the patient and I can notice that, hey, my AC chamber selection doesn't match my anatomy. So I can just quickly tap one to deselect, tap one to select, and I'm good to go with proper ACs. The new Radiography 7000M is our new premium mobile system, which is going to help you see beyond the workflow challenges towards an efficient workflow and also help you in confident diagnosis. Here we see the new mobile system is really having a compact footprint, both in terms of its height as well as the width. It's really easy uh, to drive as you navigate. It's easy to see in front as you turn in the corridors. It's really easy and it has a very small, short turning radius, which is going to help you easily in the corridors, elevators and between the patient beds see that this system has improved collision sensors which is which is going to improve the safety during your driving mechanism as you also see the system has a capacitive touch handle which is really smooth and easy once you press once you grab the handles you can easily start moving the new uh, the new radiography 7000m mobile system also has an advanced lithium ion battery technology the main uh, advantage of having this technology is that it not only uh, helps in reducing the system weight 
which is almost 22% lighter than our previous model. It also helps in making the system more compact, that is 25% more compact than our previous model. And also the new battery technology helps in fast charging, that is 0 to 100% of charge in almost 4 hours. This is going to help in seeing more number of patients in one single battery charge. The other advantage of this battery is that it is long lasting. So once you completely charge it, it's going to help you, allow you to see 400 exposures and 22 kilometers of drive. The other advantage of the lithium ion battery is that when it's completely dead, within five minutes of charging, you can at least give one exposure in urgent and emergency cases. The other advantage is that this battery has uh, the battery has capacity both for exposure as well as drive. Once you completely deplete the battery for exposure, it still allows you to drive the system for one kilometer towards the nearest power station so that you can charge your system effectively. The new mobile system Radiography 7000M has a number of smart workflow enhancement features which is going to help you not only to make your workflow easy but also faster. We, we have the new RFID batch scanner. As you see here, once you switch on the system, you can use your hospital batch which is registered to the system. With one swipe, you can not only boot up the system but also log into the Eliva user interface. So this is going to help you in fast and secure login. The new tube head display that you can see here is similar to all our premium fixed systems, fluoro systems. This Eliva tube head is not only going to help you to understand your system status, like you can see here, right now it will give you the status of the detector battery, the system battery and the Wi-Fi connectivity status, but also when you go into when you go into the examination mode at the bedside, this Eliva tube head display is going to help you in your workflow. As you see here, you can identify and confirm the patient, the examination. You can also tweak the examination parameters. And also, there's a new user interface feature that we have introduced where you can select the required, the desired detector as you wish. So these new features are now incorporated in the new mobile system. We can also see that we have the collimator knobs in front as well as behind. So these collimator knobs are going to help you make your workflow more easier. We also have an inbuilt inherent spectral filter so you no longer need to manually select the filter but this will happen automatically and this will also help in the dose management we have also introduced a software dap so you no longer need a physical dap that is a dose area product meter but the software and the estimated dap will give you the values as you see here this is a new monoblock design and this will help you in faster rise and drop time of the exposure. This is going to help you in specially pediatric chest imaging to reduce the motion artifacts and a better image quality. We have introduced a new large 21.5 inch DICOM compliant monitor. This display will help you in viewing the image and post-processing it in more better way. We also have the ambient sensors. As you move from different ICU to wards to hallway, and as the ambient light changes, this ambient sensor is going to help and correct the auto brightness of the display. We have introduced new UI features, and when you want to annotate and have a date and time stamp, this new feature is going to help you in this date and time annotation stamp. You can easily move it at any corner of the image. This is a new feature and this is going to help you ease your workflow. The, the new tube head also has a capacitive touch handle and this is going to make you really easy to position and move the tube head. So as you see here, it's easy the moment you grasp you can actually release the brakes. It also has an electromagnetic brakes and you no longer will feel the effort of moving the tube head. We also have one button release and this will help you in omnidirectional movement. As you see here, it's really easy to move in all directions and position at the bedside. This is going to help in effortless positioning. 
The other advantage is that these capacitive touch handles are also extending at the bottom and this is going to help you in parking the tube head very easily. When you look here, we have we have the detector storage in the basket here as well as detector storage, grid storage and the detector handle storage at the back as well. So we have improved the storage spaces so that it's easy during the clinical workflow. There are more storage spaces for the stationery, for your wipes and your disinfectants. So the detectors over here, you have the detector onboard charging present here. So whenever you feel that the detector is now getting discharged, it's very easy to swap the battery that is being charged here. And this will help in an interrupted workflow. We also have the barcode scanner, the remote control and the hand switch, which will all help in the exposure. Here you see we have the IR sensors where you want to physically pair the detector. You need to hold it here and once you physically pair the detector, these detectors are now stored in the memory, are now stored in the memory and when you see here you can now easily select which detector you want from this drop down menu on the user interface as well. Now this is going to help you avoid physical pairing every time you move from the adult to the pediatric and vice versa. We have introduced a status light indicator at top of the sliding column and this is going to help you give visual feedback at different stages of your system usage. So when you're driving the system, it's going to have this the blue color and as you unpack the tube from the system, it will turn into white and during your examination, when the system is ready for exposure, it turns into gray, green and so and so forth. And when it is orange blinking light, that means there is some error in your system and you need to read the user guided message for detailed error and this is going to help you give a visual feedback during your examination and when you're driving the system around the hospital. The Radiography 7000M has two generator configurations, the 40 kilowatt and the 20 kilowatt generator. The 40 kilowatt generator has a peak performance of 500 MAS and this is going to help you examine the pediatric patients, spine anatomy and many more with ease. We also have the 20 kilowatt generator mainly for the pediatric examinations. We also continue to offer our platform solutions like the Eliva user interface which is common across our portfolio and so it's going to be really easy for the technologist to train and learn this user interface. In addition, we also offer the Skyflow Plus. This will help you in the gridless workflow. It will not only make the workflow easy but also more smarter. We also offer the unique two image processing for great image quality. So this all is going to help you increase the clinical confidence and provide great diagnostic confidence.